then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When the kingdom breaks in, demons get worried. They rile up, they flare, they manifest because they are terrified. They know they cannot withstand the onslaught, the blitzkrieg of the kingdom of God that the spirit of God brings. And the same spirit of God that empowered Jesus's ministry is the same spirit of God that's in you if you are in him. Similarly, in Luke eleven twenty, 20, Jesus said, but if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Now, you know, that language of finger of God is very interesting. It only occurs a few places in the Bible. One of them has to do with none other than the Ten Commandments, which the Bible says were written on a tablet of stone by the very finger of God. And so with that, we understand that the law of God or the word of God is itself part of the finger of God. Finger of God is more than just the Holy Spirit. It is the word coupled with the Spirit. Another place that we see the finger of God is when Belshazzar is having his feast and a hand appears in midair and writes on the wall, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Upharsin. What does that mean? Your, your acts and deeds, your days have been numbered and been found wanting. Belshazzar, you are under judgment and this is the end of you. Why did that happen? Because Belshazzar had blasphemed by using the holy golden vessels from the temple that his father had captured when he took Jerusalem. He used them to drink at a banquet of his own and to toast the Babylonian gods. And the Lord said, that is enough, it's over. 